holidays everyone welcome to my Christmas inspired makeup tutorial I'm going to start using Lime Crimes eyeshadow brightener I'm using a matte shade on my lid which needs a little help with this eyeshadow brightener that I'm going to spread all over the areas that I'm going to apply eyeshadow next I'm using my favorite palette from Morphe the 35W palette using that light brown shade I use this a lot as my first transition shade if you haven't noticed and I'm using one of Morphe's um, blending brushes to blend that out underneath my brow into my crease area. The next shade that I'm using is from the same palette Morphe. It's this purple shade that I'm going to buff into that light brown um, with a different blending brush. And I'm just going to make sure the transition is smooth before I apply this darker purple shade that I already mentioned is my like number top three favorite crease color shade um, and I just flatten my um, blending brush a little bit and apply that right on top of the other purple shade that I just used um, I wanted the transitions to go from like a light purple down to a deeper purple and I'm buffing that into my crease area as well with a, another blending brush I believe this one is MAC and I'm just switching between the two brushes making sure that um, they're as smooth as I have the patience to get them as far as the transition. Next, I'm using number 43 Individual Shadow from Morphe to pack onto my lid. This is just a flat synthetic brush by Motives and I'm just applying it all over my lid area. I had to pack on about two to three layers. Even though I'm adding glitter on top, I still wanted this color to be very um, bright on my lid for fallout purposes and then I'm just reversing the steps to make sure um, my creases blend it a little bit better. Next I'm going to add my glitter. I'm using Motives Glitter Adhesive and some glitter from um, Glitter Injections. I think this is called Nature Lover but I wasn't sure so I didn't want to put the name. Um, you can either add the glitter from the lid like this or you can just put the glitter on something like I did and apply it like you would normally. Um, I'm using this brush from Hair and Makeup Addiction to apply the glitter all over the green eyeshadow. Um, I wanted to cover the shadow as much as I could. I didn't think I was going to use eyeliner which is why I'm going so far down on my um, lid but I ended up changing my mind but we'll get to that part later. I'm going to pick up any excess glitter by using tape. I'm just pressing on it to make sure it's not too sticky because I have foundation on my face already. And I'm just going to pick up some of the glitter fallout that I had in a couple areas of my face. Now I'm going to highlight and contour. Um, I have a lot of previous videos where I can go into full detail with this but I'm just cleaning up the um, eye area with my beauty blender and my highlight I believe this was max pro longwear concealer which is my favorite to highlight with and um, if you don't use tape you can always clean up that outer corner like I did with the beauty blender or a brush and I'm just um, blending that into my skin with the beauty blender it's a little damp but it's not too damp because I don't like using the pro long wear concealer with a really wet sponge so it's just wet from when I apply my foundation but I didn't apply any more um, setting spray to it and I'm packing on a little bit of Benai's Bitnana powder I wanted my highlight to be really strong as you can see because I wanted it to make the glitter pop a little bit more with a heavy highlight and um, my contour, I always use Motives Color Perfection Quad and Dark. I'm just applying it to the areas that I want it with one of Morphe's flat brushes and carving out my cheekbones that I'm creating a little down the nose, cubis bow, and chin. And um, I buff in my contour with Morphe's Contour Brush, which is life. And I'm just going in quick motions, sweeping it upwards. Um, you probably can't tell because it's moving so fast, but I'm just... Um, Blending it into my skin, out into my hairline, and going over it with a little bit of Max Refine Golden Bronzer. I um, <clears throat> usually apply it to my cheeks and then use the excess over my forehead. It's not really glittery. It just gives me a light glow, and um, I like it. So 
I'm getting rid of my contour lines on my nose by, with the other end of my beauty blender and then um, creating a stronger contour in my cheeks by applying some banana powder right underneath the contour area and then going over all my highlighted areas with Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. I, always, I never skip this step because I think it makes my contour look a lot more natural, not so ashy. It adds a little bit more of a brown tint to the highlight, which I love. And um, I use this powder alone as well. And finally, I'm using some HD setting powder from LA Girl Cosmetics. I just started using this um, a couple weeks ago and I actually really love it. Since I use a liquid highlight and a cream contour, it helps make everything set um, as one texture so I have a nice powder finish all throughout my face and I really like the finish of it I have a little bit of setting powder on my nose uh, <laughs> it's just setting powder guys no cocoa just setting powder uh, but I'm applying that light purple shade the first purple that I used um, buffing it onto my lash line with uh, Morphe's um, smudging brush and then a little bit of LA Girl Cosmetics very black gel liner on my waterline per usual and um, tight lining a little bit on the top and I'm blending out the eyeliner with the darker purple shade that I used um, a little bit on my lash line and um, this is going to just smoke it out just a tad I didn't want to add too much purple I didn't want my eyes to be too too dark at the bottom um, now for my eyeliner I did a really 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 thin liner um, for this look because I didn't really know if I was going to use liner or not but it's really difficult to go over glitter with liner so um, if I had known I was going to use liner I probably wouldn't have went so far down with the glitter but I still worked it out nice thin layer and adding my siren house of lashes favorite favorite lashes um, onto my lash line and concealing the lash band with Ico's waterproof um, liner pen, which I love. And finally, a coat of mascara on my top and bottom lashes. I just blend my real lashes into the falsies. Um, I don't really like to apply too much mascara to my false lashes, but I do love a lot of mascara on my bottom lashes. As you can see, this is Maybelline's Great Lash Black It's Black mascara and that was pretty much it for the eyes moving on oh I had a little smudging with the um the mascara I'm just kind of smudging it out a little bit and for my glow I used my I think this was Miami glow bronzer by motives I'm just using a Morphe brush to apply it over on top of my cheeks and um, down my nose just a smidge and a little bit um, where my temples are like right above my eyebrows for a nice Christmas glow and I dusted on a little little bit of blush on my cheeks just to give it a little bit of color and finally for my lips I use Lime Crimes Wicked um, my tube is like literally gone so I had to like scrape for their life just to get this lipstick on but um this is the same lip and entire look from the picture that I posted on Instagram so I want to make sure I did everything as much as the same as I could but I'm just applying it like I would normally um, no liner right now just applying the lime crime all over my lips as you know this is the liquid to matte and for a little bit of an ombre look I use Ellery lip liner from Colourpop in the outer corners you can use this liner with almost any shade of red to create an ombre look and it's perfect for the holidays these two-toned reds um, I'm just using my lips to blend it out you can always use a brush or make it more precise but I wasn't really trying to be that perfect with it I just wanted to darken the corners just a little bit and I am blotting to blend the colors into each other and you can go back and forth with the liner and the lip gloss or you can use a brush however you want to do it as long as the colors just you know blend nicely and clean up any spillage of course with a flat brush I'm using max 195 brush and um, cleaning out the outsides of my lips and that was it for the lips and actually that was it for the entire look <laughs> All you want to do is um, set your face with a little bit of makeup, setting spray, and uh, yeah, get that lipstick off your teeth and you're good to go. Thank you guys for watching this Christmas inspired tutorial. I really hope you loved it. If you do, make sure you give me a thumbs up. 
don't forget to subscribe and check out my blog, MissEllery.com, for all things beauty. I'll have a new video for you guys, hopefully up next week. Make sure you leave your suggestions in the comment section for what you would like to see next on my channel. I hope everyone has a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Feliz Navidad, all that good stuff. And uh, <laughs> as usual, until next time, mwah!